Chorus Bob. Bob, you're so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I think I, I think I need to put a little bit like a Squidward voice for him. I don't think I'd have noticed you putting one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Wow. That's annoying me. Ted. Co-founder. Oh, Smith. Ted S. Ted Smith. <laughs> Can't stand back up. Never. It's crooked and it's annoying me. Okay. What was that? He said his brother was odd, so... If they were nor normal for the corn, what's their brother like? Okay. Hiya Ted, the fish shipment could be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realise how much feeding these fish will actually cost? I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of contention between these two as we get further in. And are the fish dead? Ooh, poor fish. Or boxes. West hook checkpoint. Checkpoint. I keep being space to jump. Alright, this is a lot of boxes and hangers. Ted, Ted, exciting news. Oh, wait, that's Bob. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for this facility. I got thousands in bulk at a fraction of the price. I've already used the savings for some. Great stuff. Bob, you idiot! We got a good deal on them because they're completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Cordially, Ted. Let's, can I pick it up? Cheap jumpsuit. Made of material that looks like it would fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. <laughs> Alright then. Security station. Alright. Reserve power mode active. Warfare readiness report. Object failure, object failure, project maze. It appears to be a report on the war for readiness of the project maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn has no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many of the reports involving the corn. Let's see. Uh, it's hard to read that out. We will not focus attention on dangerous threats. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is a failure. Coat rack. I've picked up a coat rack. Good for hand coats, useless unless it is placed upside down, which in case it would not be very effective at all. Okay, I'm just gonna carry this around for some reason. Uh, nothing else in here. Multiple clocks at all through the same time. Okay. It's not very useful. Uh, let's see what's over here. Oh, okay. Robotics room. An item could be placed here. Ooh. What's this? Power strip. Turn on the power strip. Oh! System 12 basics. Alright. Bob, stop playing your stupid computer games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. AI experiments? That sounds fun. Wait, how old is this facility? Because this is some old a fuck. Old as fuck technology. Bob, you disgusting slob. Do you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Oh, and I found the keyboard. And, uh. Uh, Gripotron. Okay. Bob, you jerk! Put my ram back where it was! I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. A guidebook of Redacted. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted. 
but 20 pages are fully dedicated to giant vats. Mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Mm-hmm. Can I just, like... Is that supposed to... Oh, it is! That's just floating in midair. Sure, we'll go with that. That looks like a teddy bear. Do we create a robot teddy bear? That'd be awesome. Um... Ooh, yay. Uh, oh, nothing else I can do with it yet. Hmm, you have to find something else. Oh! Hi, it's uh, the Linus brochure came back from the press. Take a look, I think it will really boost the tool. And I'd be really happy to know that the most sensitive piece have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first you're an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no to us. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in the same title? Jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry about the final print as we done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Have you do reading the comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send these brochures? Moron. That sounds like someone should have lost their funding for that. Oh, again. I can't take my finger off them. Communal Grotto. Ooh. Is it, oh, there's some corn up there. This is pretty. That is really cool. I'd be really creeped out walking across a floor like that. To level two is blocked off, so I can't get up to the corn. A trail of trash. Hi guys. A cheeseburger wrapper. Originated from the local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. <laughs> there are n there are no exaggeration. Thousands of these wrappers littering in the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one has sparked you to pick it up. Alrighty then. Oh my god, what is this? Hi, it's Ed. I noticed you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, I had a little blemish on it. No sweat, here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self indulgent locks. For God's sake, how many of them did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? <laughs> I have a sneaky suspicion that Ted may have murdered Bob. Uh, let's try this way. See, it might be leading up to where the. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Fair enough. And that just popped into existence. H hello? Okay. Shift schedule. A schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff. Most notable are the shifts for two founders. They are completely opposite to each other. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. Can I poke at the computer? A memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility, name of which has been redacted. It contains incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year of the memo? 1983. I don't know, I don't know, question marks, no, 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 <laughs> drawing a doodle of the corn, all right, you guys having fun, just, just staring, okay, let's move on, hang in the bookcase, no, oh my god, I know for there has been completely blocked off. What is this? 
Sketcher 3000. A major improvement of the Sketcher 2000 is it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face, owing your fabrication, owing to your fabric, your fascination. That's supposed to be, and it's misspelt, with foreheads. Is that how you spell fascination? I don't know. I'll double check. Now that I'm actually looking at, it, I don't know. I'm not paying for this. The invoice the, to this extremely in extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it in Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. That's five million. Five million dollars for this gaudy bullshit nightmare? Where the fuck did they get the marble? <laughs> oh my god. Do they just have a blank check from the government? I still I love this idea though. This is really cool. Just the design of that. Oh my god. Well, I can guess I know which one's Bob's office. <laughs> the painting again. Oh my god. Bob is disgusting. Oh. Bob, you disgusting slob. You've cleaned up after yourself. I'm blocking your entrance to the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat every other week. Moron. That's cute. Alright. Seriously. Oh, a drawer. He opened the drawer. And I got a screwdriver. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create a set of portraits of the founders. It appears to be spearheaded completely by Bob with specific instructions on the style of the portraits to be painted. The cost is in the millions. That's one million dollars. <laughs> a military backpack. It can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. It has the communist sickle and hammer on it. That's also tiny. Alright. Wow. So again, if all this was created in 1983, a couple of million back then was a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Alright, so we've exhausted our options that way. So let's head this way now. Uh, can I open this door? No, I cannot. Look at this. This is very swish. Even though it's starting to fall into disrepair over here. Also, what time period am I coming into this? Let's see if this is over here. An extremely obvious fake panel. Can I use this? Aha! Oh! Circuit board RAM. Hiya Ted, just a heads up, I put your RAM right here! This way it will get less dusty. <laughs> oh my god, Bob. Gymnasium. Wow. Okay, this kind of thing makes sense. Dumbbell. Sure, I'll take a dumbbell. Because if you're gonna have researchers down in here, it need they need need something to do. A triumphant test report. The only way this report could have sounded more triumphant is if trumpets were blaring every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this, sem this uh, specimen is somehow female, which is apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. Oops. Nature uh, finds a way. Alright. Oh, a sweaty headband. Uh, the sweaty headband imbues the wearer of the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It's not worth the risk. <laughs> and a shower. And one toilet. Many showers. Oh, what's this? 
a nondescript rock. A run on the rock with no defining features, more so over the discerner for the billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. So there's now two rocks I have. Well, there's something I can interact with behind these piles of boxes, but I can't get behind the boxes. Don't drop the soap. Also, that's a really bad idea in a shower room. The condensation will get up there and it will ruin the plaster work. And rust the pipes. Anyway, so yeah, having a gymnasium in a place like this makes a lot of sense. Alright. Let's see, it's Bob's thing. Let's head this way. Oh my god. Did they have a daycare? That's kind of creepy. How did I do? Skill 1, skill 2, following directions, craftsmanship. Oh. How did I do? Did I, did I get a smiley face? We are going to have a ball. Oh, there's other names in there. Preston Childs. Eason Neal. Alfred Hill. Kobe Donahue. I wonder if these are actual names of the people who made the game. Oh, teddy bear. Oh, he's kind of cute. A uh, Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings. When powered up, its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. It looks grumpy. Aww. Children's block. The, it's a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. You spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually you sort them out, but the number five still fills you every now and again. Cursed number five. The way it describes some of those things, I am still not convinced that I am not a piece of corn. Bob, you lazy buffoon. I know you're spending all your time in here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. I was over the thousand time. Why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, you halfwit. <laughs> Poor Ted. He's probably going to have a corner area or something. Teeny tunnel? No, I can't go the teeny tunnel. A little bit too big for the teeny tunnel. Boo. Okay. So I have the ram, and I have the teddy bear. Which I'm pretty sure I can put in the... Uh, the computer lab. Uh, yes, there it is. Let's see. Uh, teddy. Ah. And the backpack might work there too. Yeah. Now we're missing something. Uh, Ram? <laughs> <laughs> yep, because that's how you install Ram. An upgraded computer. What do I do with this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. Lean forward any further, you'll fall at the table. Oh boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> <sighs> Why guys so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. So, where we go? I don't know. You've acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um. Alright. While I recover from this, I think I'm going to call it there for now and we'll come back to it later. I need a little break. So. Um. Thanks for joining for joining us for this. I've been enjoying this so far. It's strangely hilarious. So. Uh. Like, follow, subscribe, all those good things. If you're liking this, let us know. Um, 
you can check me out live on Twitch as well. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.